What is up to the best Carter family on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And I bet you guys are like, yo, Chase, what you doing with that watermelon? We are actually going to be doing another nail it or fail it video for you guys. If you haven't seen my last one, uh, which was the cake, I tried to make it into a stadium. That one turned out really bad. Oh man. God dang it. I am actually going to be attempting to make a watermelon shark out of this watermelon. So my objective today is to make this right here a shark or something kind of like this on today's episode. <laughs> Nail it or fail it. And y'all gotta comment down below. Y'all gotta comment down below if I nailed it or failed it. Okay, so if it turns out good and you like it, I nailed it. If I didn't do so good, I failed it. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. And also, turn on post notifications, guys, because post notifications is like the best thing that could ever happen on YouTube. It's like alerts you when I post a new video. So every Tuesday at five o'clock, you'll be notified that I posted a video. So you don't gotta be sitting on YouTube like, did he post yet, did he post yet? You will get a notification. So click that bell. Let's slice and dice this watermelon and uh, let's make a shark. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to get this to stand up um, on its side like this. So I need to cut an angle. Wait, let's see. Let's see what angle I need to cut this first before I start cutting. So if I want it to stand up like this, I gotta cut an angle like that, right? Let's start, uh, let's just cut, let's just, let's just go for it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is actually kind of hard to cut. Oh, it's because it's on this thing right here. Okay. Let's put this right here. Let's see how this looks so far. No. No, 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 no. We gotta cut more. We gotta make it more at an angle. We gotta make it more at an angle. Great. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's see here. If I cut more off, I think I need to cut more off on the back. Okay, so we gotta cut more off on the back. Oh my gosh, we're, we're kind of screwing all this up. Let's put all this excess watermelon right there because we're going to need the excess watermelon in a bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut out the mouth. So we're going to cut out like a, like a triangle shape into the mouth. So uh, let's just start up here. Actually, let me see if I get a serrated knife. Oh, I feel like this one's better. We're gonna get this knife. We're gonna cut in here as well. To like right there. Okay, so that part's done. That part's done. Okay, let's flip this around. And let's just do this. Now we gotta try to cut this out actually. That's gonna be the tricky part. Oh, snap. Okay, this is kind of the mouth of the shark. It's not looking so good. Uh, we're gonna have to try to fix some of it up here and kind of make it into a more shark-like. Uh, let's just cut most of this off right here. Let's cut more of this off. Let's cut more of this off down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting all of this excess watermelon out. And save it for later, actually, because I bought a seedless watermelon. Cause I was like, you know what? Might as well just get a seedless one. Might get a little dirty, you might get a little dirty, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get your watermelon out of there. Come on, come on out, come on out. Let's use this. That looks good so far, that looks good so far. Maybe we need to cut more off this jaw right here. Cause it's a little uneven on this side. 
Nope, still uneven. Okay. Actually, that looks good. That looks good, actually. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start cutting teeth into this. Um, I don't know how we're going to cut teeth into it. That's not good. Um, let's just start, like, right here. Oh my gosh. I gotta figure out how to cut teeth into this. Mm -hmm. No, 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 wrong way. That's too much. No, 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 no. Actually, we can probably do that. Put that down. And, oh. Oh my gosh, it's like pulling a tooth. Hey, we got it. Great, it looks horrible. So we're gonna start cutting triangles out of this top layer right here to try to make teeth. I don't know how it's gonna freaking go because I think I'm already screwing up kind of because I'm trying to make teeth for the top layer. And it's not really, uh, it's not going out how I planned, but uh, we're just gonna continue to Make some sharp teeth here. They're, they're kind of big. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, this is my final product on my shark teeth. Uh, I can probably fix this middle one right here. This middle one right here is kind of looking a little, a little too dull. He's gotta be an angry shark. He can't be a freaking can't be a happy shark. Okay, that shark is actually okay. Okay, he might be looking, he might be looking kind of rough with his teeth all jacked up up here, but uh, he's looking kind of good on the screen. If I look on the screen, he looks kind of good, but from this angle, that looks like a that looks like a mean shark for sure. What we're gonna do actually, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and grab a. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this piece right here, this piece right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this to the side, is we're gonna cut like a triangle, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're gonna cut like almost like a fin, like a dorsal fin out of this, for the, maybe I should not use this blade like that. Uh, do not use blades guys, Dis, uh, disclaimer. No, uh, no knives. Uh, maybe I should use the cutting board, that's a good idea. Why is watermelon so hard to cut? Jesus Christ. We're gonna cut this like this, just kind of like a dorsal fin, and then the dorsal fin is gonna go right on the back, about right here. So I need to grab like toothpicks or something to hold this into place. Okay, so we got these like two wooden spikes right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stab this. Actually, let's put this in here first. Put this in here first. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stab this into here. That's probably gonna be the hardest part. Maybe we can make like, kind of like an entry hole to start with. We gotta give it something to work with here. Okay. Aha, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, okay. So, what we need is eyes. We need eyes. We need eyes. Okay, so, my mom actually has these like, I wanna say they're candy eyes. Candy edible eyes, because this thing's gotta be 100% edible, except for, also, uh, except for like the wooden sticks or whatever, because you can't eat the wooden sticks, and I don't highly recommend that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole, just like we did for the sticks. Make a hole just like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the eye and plop the eye just in there like that. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at that, look at that eye! Look at that eye! That's a small eye on a big shark, but uh, a small eye, a small eye on a big shark, but we gotta do the same thing, kinda even with this side right here. So there's gonna be a kind of like a hole in this shark's head because I accidentally put it way too high up on his head there. Oh, we gotta cut that hole bigger. <coughs> that was 
That was the outer shell, Chase. Why would you eat that? <laughs> we got our shark. We got one eye on this side. I don't know if y'all can see that. And we got one eye on this side. Guys, this shark actually looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we got our shark kind of uh, squared away. Now, what we gotta do is we actually gotta cut some of this watermelon up that we have right here, and we're gonna stick it inside the shark. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the shark out of the way so you guys can still see him over here. And we're gonna take this watermelon right here and we're gonna cut this watermelon out. Some strips, probably one strip over the top. Fill this watermelon inside the shark's mouth because that's where you're gonna be grabbing the watermelon out of. Cause you know, He's got, the, he's got the watermelon in his mouth, and you guys gotta like, you gotta grab it out before he bites you. It's like, ah! I'm not gonna lie, definitely on camera, it looks better than it does right here, but the fin does make it kinda cool. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, should I add fins on the side? Should I add fins on the side? Oh my gosh, I should. Oh my God, yes. Beautiful. Oh yes, that looks great. I'm not gonna lie, that looks freaking awesome. So let's put this one in here, that one in there. Oh! <laughs> Yo, look at this shark watermelon. I honestly think I nailed it, guys. What do you guys think? If you guys think I nailed it, comment down below and nailed it. If you guys think I failed it, comment down below and failed it. I think this looks absolutely amazing. I didn't really think I was gonna pull it off. The teeth up top, I could have probably did a lot better. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up my nail it or fail it watermelon shark video. I think it turned out fantastic. I think I definitely nailed it. Uh, but let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think I nailed it or failed it. I didn't think I was gonna add these fins on the side until I had extra pieces and I was like, you know what? I gotta do it. So we did it. I think it looks fantastic, guys. You let me know um, what you guys think. Also, 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 also. If you guys can please, please, please leave a comment down below asking what you guys want me to try. It's a challenge, it's gotta be a challenge. Something that you guys don't think I could do, like, um, make something if you guys don't think I can make a, a house out of you know popsicle sticks or if you guys don't think I can build Legos or anything guys it can be anything literally like this I tried doing watermelon art as a shark let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to try to challenge and I will do it guys um but I think this one turned out fantastic oh watermelon is so good comment down below what your favorite fruit is. Mine is watermelon. I think watermelon has to be my... Oh, God, his eye fell out. I think watermelon has to be my all-time kind of favorite fruit. It's it's so freaking good. And uh, comment down below what your favorite fruit is. Make sure you guys share this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the next episode of Nailed It or Failed It. Peace.